in der westlichen Welt haben wir das ein wenig verloren, diese Kultur, dass man Älteste hat, Großeltern, die man um Rat fragt oder die man, denen man Fragen stellen kann oder die einem Geschichten erzählen aus ihrem reichen Erfahrungsschatz Schatz, und davon kann man dann profitieren. In vielen indigenen Völkern und in der indianischen Kultur wird das noch mehr gepflegt als im Westen. Und ich habe den Großvater gefragt, Manitongwat, wie stellt er sich die Zukunft vor? Was glaubt er, was ist seine Vision von der Welt, in der wir leben, in zehn Jahren? Well, you know, strangely, this might sound strange, but maybe I can make you understand. I think the most hopeful thing is the ecological disaster we're facing. Because uh, suddenly, in the past five years or so, or people have begun to wake up all over the world that it really is a serious and dangerous problem and something has to be done. And people are beginning to do some things about it. One of the things that is people are doing and have been doing for 10, 15 years is developing communities that are ecologically sound, that have a very light uh, footprint, that uh, are su sustainable so they're not using up uh, the earth in order to, in order to live. And uh, these kinds of communities we've come to call eco-villages. Uh, they're all different. There are many, many of them. They're all different, but they all have one particular feature in common. They want to live in harmony with nature, in a sustainable community, uh, not using up the resources and so forth and so on. That to me is very hopeful. I, if I look at the next 10 years, what I see is they're coming more of those because as people begin to realize that they're there, and perhaps the, the public media begins to take notice of that more, they begin to see uh, they could actually do something about changing the world in order to make it more in harmony with nature. And uh, they, as a perhaps a side effect of that, they realize they could build a closer, uh, more friendly community in doing that when they're working with other people. So I'm hopeful I, uh, that this phenomenon of the echo villages will continue to grow more people will learn about it uh, the, people will try out new ones and people will go looking for other ones and uh, if that's so my vision for the future however long is that there be millions of echo villages communities living in sustainably in nature and cooperating with each other in a worldwide network that helps each of them survive in a good way. And that as that phenomenon grows, the hurtful economy will begin to shrivel and get smaller and smaller. And my hope is that eventually everybody will be able to live in small communities, even if they're in cities, they can be in small communities where they are close to each other and trying to live in, in an ecological way and make a, a very light footprint upon the earth. <laughs>